Hello, dear students. This is grade 11 mathematics lesson on unit 10, Introduction to Linear Programming. This chapter is designed for social science students only. So today, we focus on graphical solutions of system of linear inequalities and optimization problems. So let's continue to the lesson. So after revising this lesson, you are expected to determine graphical solution for system of linear inequalities. And you are also expected to solve linear programming problems. So let's continue. Graphical solution of system of linear inequalities. A graphical solution of system of linear inequality is, is a graph of all ordered pairs x, y that satisfies all the inequalities. And such a graph we call it is solution region or feasible region. Now let's see example. Find the graphical solution to the system of linear inequality x minus y less than 2, x plus y greater than or equal to 2 x plus 2y less than or equal to 8. To solve this system of uh, inequalities, we need to draw the graph. So let's try to draw the graph of each first. So solution. To draw the graph of this, x minus y less than 2, first I need to draw the boundary the boundary line. So to draw the boundary line, this is x minus y is equal to 2. And to draw this boundary line, simply take the intercepts, x and y intercepts, when the value of x is 0 and when the value of y is 0. When the value of x is 0, 0 minus y is equal to 2. So minus y is equal to 2, y is equal to negative 2. For y is 0 when you put 0 in place of y x minus 0 is equal to 2 therefore x equals to 2 we have this we will draw a graph for this part and let's just prepare a table for each and here we have x plus y greater than or equal to 2 so to draw the graph of this also we need a boundary uh, line so to draw the boundary change this into equation x plus y is equal to 2. And then prepare a table for this one. x and y. When the value of x 0, and take the intercepts only to draw the graph, and when the value of y 0. When the value of x is 0, y will be 2. And when the value of y is 0, x also 2. We have this. And let's also uh, prepare a table for this one also. x plus 2y less than or equal to 8. To draw the boundary line, change this into equation. It is x plus 2y is equal to 8. So x, y, when x 0 and when y 0. When x is 0, 0 plus 2 is equal to 8, divide by 2, you get 4. y will be 4. And when y is 0, the value of x will be this, 8. We have these points. Now let's draw this graph. So we have this one. x axis and y axis. Okay, let's take the scale for x up to 8. So uh, let me make this to be 2, this 1, 4, this point, 6, and 8. Negative 2, we will have negative 2 here, negative 4, and so on. For y, the scale up to 4, so let me use scale 1. 1, 2, 3, and 4 here, negative 1, negative 2, 
negative 3. So, uh, let's draw the graph for this one, the boundary line, when x is 0, y minus 2. When x is 0, y is minus 2 at this point. And when x is 2, y is 0 at this one. This point. So, I can draw a line passing through these two points since this is inequality, it doesn't include the border line. So I use broke line for this part. So this is the line x minus y is equal to 2. x minus y is equal to 2. To find the inequality region, uh, the inequality is this x minus y less than 2. So the graph of x minus y less than 2 take any point below or above this line. If that point satisfies that region, the solution region will be that part. If it's not, the solution region will be on the other part. So let's take this point, let's take origin above uh, the line x minus y is equals 2. So when we take the origin and put on this inequality, 0 minus 0 less than 2. 0 minus 0 less than 2, it satisfies, it's true. Therefore, the solution region will be on this part, up on this part, on the upper part. The whole region uh, will be the solution for x minus y less than 2. But this is not our solution. We have to continue to, we have to just uh, find the solution of each in their intersection. So let's draw this one also. x plus y is equal to 2. So x plus y is equal to 2. When x is 0, when x is 0, y is this 2. This point, when x is 0, y is 2. And when x is 2, y is 0, is this point. So our line pass through these two points and the inequality is greater or equal to it includes uh, the boundary line so I use solid line for this therefore here you'll have this one this is it is so the boundary line it is x plus y is equal to 2 this is a boundary line so I need to check uh, the region. So uh, which part of this, uh, the right part of this line or the lower part? The upper or the lower part? Let's check uh, which part will satisfy uh, this, this inequality. So take any point uh, to the right or to the left. Most of the time I use this one, the origin. Uh, so if you put this origin here, x and y, 0, 0. 0 plus 0 greater or equal to 2. This 0 greater than 2 is this false. Therefore, our solution region is not on this part, on the other part. It's on the other part. Therefore, we have this solution region on the other part. Okay. Now, next, we have this one. Let's draw this. When x is 0, when x is 0, it is y is 4. And uh, when x is 8, y is 0. So we have this point. And let's draw the graph of this line. It passes through. I use solid line because the inequality is less than or equal to. It includes the boundary line. So the graph will be like this. It passes through 8. OK. So this line they may intersect here to find the solution for this this line is it is x plus 2y is equal to x plus 2y is equal to 8 so to check the solution region take a point uh, origin 0 0 put 0 here 0 here 0 plus 2 times 0 is 0, less than 8, it satisfies. Therefore, the solution region will be 
the lower part of this. It is down part. Therefore, when you check the intersection of the solution region for this, this line solution region is to the upper part. For this, also to the upper part. For this line, is below the, uh, the line. Therefore, uh, the intersection uh, region will be this one. Only this part will be the solution region for this system of inequality. And uh, we call this intersection of boundary line corner points. This is the intersection of boundary line. We call them corner, corner points, corner points. So any point in this region, if you take any point in this region, satisfies all the three equations. So this it is the feasible region of this system of inequality. By the way, if a solution region is enclosed by a polygonal region, in that case, we call it the solution is bounded. Otherwise, if it's not enclosed, we call it unbounded uh, feasible solution. So let's continue to the next part. Fundamental theorem of linear programming. If feasible region of a linear programming is non-empty and bounded, if it is bounded, it's bounded, if it is enclosed by a polygonal region, then the objective function attains both maximum and minimum values and those occur at corner points. The maximum and the minimum value occurs at the corner points of the feasible region. If the feasible region is, if the feasible region is unbounded, if it's unbounded, may or may not attain maximum or minimum value. However, if it attains maximum or minimum value, it does so at the corner points. So let's see example for this. Here we have system of inequalities, and we are expected to find the maximum value of this one. Here it says, find the value of x and y that maximize the objective function z is equal to 3x plus 2y, subject to this constraints x plus y less than or equal to 4, x minus y less than or equal to 1, x greater than or equal to 0, and y greater than or equal to 0. So, uh, to find the maximum value, we need to draw the graph and find the feasible region. And then, the maximum value, as we said, occurs at the corner point of the feasible region. So, let's continue, let's see this. Now, first, let's draw the graph of each. x plus 2y less than or equal to 4. So I need to change this into equation to find the boundary line. This is x plus 2y is equal to 4. And to draw a graph, simply take the intercepts only when x is 0 and when y is 0. So when x is 0, 2y is equal to 4. So y will be this 2. And when y is 0, x plus 0 is equal to 4, that's x equal to 4. We have this 1. And for this part, x minus y less than or equal to 1. So this will be this x minus y is equal to 1. Let's take the intercept through the graph. When x 0 and when y is 0. When x 0, 0 minus y is equal to 1. So y will be this minus 1, dividing both sides by negative. y is minus 1. When y is 0, x will be this 1. We have this. In addition to this, x greater than 0, when you convert this into equation, you have x equal to 0. No need of preparing table for this because this is a vertical line passing through x equal to 0. And for this, y greater than or equal to 0, this means this, the boundary line is y is equal to 0. For this also, no need of drawing, just preparing it here because this is a horizontal line passing through the origin. So let's draw the graph. We have 1, 2, 3, 4. Here, minus 1, minus 2. 
one, two, three, four, six axis in the y axis. This point minus one, minus two, minus three. So let's draw the graph or the boundary line of each end. Let's find the solution region. Uh, for this part, x plus y, let's draw equal to four. The points are this. When x is zero, y is two, this point. And when x is four, y is zero. So as this one. So the line using solid line because it's all equal to it includes the boundary line. So we use a solid line for this. This will be our line. And the equation of this line is x plus y is equal to 4. So to determine the region, take one point above or below the line. Let me use this one, this point, the origin. Put 0, 0 here in the inequality. 0 plus 2 times 0 is 0. 0 plus 0 is 0 is less than 4. Yes, it is less than 4. It makes true. So the region will be, it is below la this line. Next, let's draw this one. x minus y less than or equal to 1. We have this table. So when x is 0, y is minus 1, this point. And when x is 1, y is 0, this point. So the line passes through these two pointers, including the line. It includes the boundary line, so we'll have this one. You have this line. This line is this x minus x minus y is equal to x minus y is equal to one. Let's check uh, the region, whether it is below this line or below above this line. Take the origin here also. If take zero zero. 0 minus 0 is 0, less than 1. Yes, it is true. Therefore, this part makes true. Uh, so the region will be this part. And we have this. x is equal to 0. x is equal to 0 is the y-axis. y-axis. And x greater than 0, uh, the region x greater than 0 will be this part. If you take any point from this part, if you take 2 here, 2 is greater than, 2 is greater than 0. So the region that makes true is the right part. Therefore, uh, x greater than 0 will be the other part. And for y is equal to 0, we have this line, horizontal line passing through origin. And y greater than 0 means this one, the whole this region. So the intersection of these regions, by the way, simply, most of the time, the region, these two regions, gives you only the first quadrant. This, this region, x greater than 0 and y greater than or equal to 0 gives the first quadrant. So we have the first quadrant for these two. The intersection of this first quadrant with this region, the region below this line and the region above this line gives you this part only. We have this region. This is this, this is a feasible region. So after this, we need to find the corner point because the maximum value occurs at the corner point. We have one corner point here. Here it is 0, 0,2, 0, 0, 1, 0. But we need to find this corner point. This corner point is it is the intersection of the line x plus y is equal to 4 and x minus y is equal to 1. So adding these two simultaneously, you can find the intersection x plus 2y is equal to 4, this line. And this line is this, x minus y is equal to 1. Subtract this, x minus x cancels out 2y minus minus it is plus 3y is equal to 3y is equal to 4 minus 1 is 3, y will be 1. So this point, the coordinate of this point will be y is 1, 
when y is 1, you can find x, x equal to 1 plus 1, 2. So this point is 2 comma 1. We have this corner point, this other corner point here it is, 0 comma 2. 0, 0, and we have this point, uh, 1 comma 0, 1 comma 0. We have these corner points. So the maximum value occurs at these corner points. Therefore, we can evaluate the maximum value here. Corner points and our objective function is maximize what? Our objective function is this maximize 3x plus 2y. 3x plus 2y. So for corner point, for corner point 0 comma 2, for corner point 0 comma 2, our objective z, our objective z will equal to this 3 times 0 plus 2 times 2. It will be 4. And for corner point 2 comma 1, our objective z will be 3 times 2, 3 times 2 plus 2 times 1, 2 times 1, which is equal to 6 plus 2, it is 8 for corner 2 comma 1. And for corner point 1 comma 0, we remain uh, this one. For corner point 1 comma 0, our objective function z will be this. It is uh, 3 times 1 plus 0, so it is 3. So for 0, 0, it will be 0. For corner point 0, 0, for corner point 0, 0, our z will be this 0. Hence from this, the maximum value of our objective function is it is, you compare this one from this, the maximum one is this 8. The maximum one is 8. And this 8 occurs at the corner point 2 comma 1. Therefore, the value of x that makes the objective function 3x plus 2y maximum subject to this constraint is this, x is equal to, uh, x equals to 2 and y is equal to 1. Therefore, the solution, our, so our solution is, our solution is this, x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 1. Maximize our objective function. Our obje objective function z is equal to 3x plus, z is equal to 3x plus 2y. So this is it. Now let's continue to the next part. Okay, so let's see example three. A company produces two types of tables. Table A and table B. Here it says it takes two hours of cutting time and four hours of assembling to produce table A. To produce a single table or table A, it takes two hours of cutting and four hours of assembling. In addition to this, it takes 10 hours of cutting time and three hours of assembling time to produce table B. The company has at most 100 12 hours of cutting labor and 15 hours of assembling labor per week. The company's profit is, its profit is this, 60 bar for each table A and 170 bar for each table B produced. So you are asked to find how many of each type of table should the company produce in order to maximize the profit. So to solve this problem, we need to formulate the linear programming model. First, we need to formulate this. To formulate this, let's see this, this given in table form. 
it says the question for table A it requires two hours of cutting time and four hours of assembling time and from single table A you will have a profit of 60 per for table B it requires 10 hours of cutting and three hours of assembling time so you get burst 170 of profit from table B here the available time this one is available time for cutting time the company has 112 hours of labor and for assembling it has 54 hours for assembling so uh, to formulate the model let assume let assume made to be the number of tables uh, number of table a produced b x and the number of table b produced b y so from this the available resource for cutting is this 112 so if you produce x table the time the cutting time takes will be 2 times x and if you produce y tables of table b a single table takes 10 hour y table takes 10 y the sum of these two must be the available resource 112 hours therefore here you'll have this one 2x 2x plus 10y must be less than or equal to the available resource time which is 112 and again same is true for this one 4x plus 3y must be less than or equal to 54 therefore it is here 4x plus 3y must be less than or equal to 54. In addition to this, we have to produce table A and table B. So therefore, x table A and table number of table A produced and number of table B produced must be greater or equal to 0. Greater or equal to 0. So we have this constraint, we call this constraint, and our objective is, is a profit. Here, the profit the profit is from a single table A, we get 60 bar. From a single table B, we have 170 bar. If x table is produced, so its profit will be 60 times x. And if y table B produced, its profit will be 170 times y. So the total profit will be this 60x plus 170y. So this is the linear programming model. And we need or we want to maximize this profit. So our objective is maximize maximize this profit subject to this constraint so uh, to do this let's draw the graph and then uh, find the feasible region and take the corner point of this feasible region so you will find the maximum value at the corner point so let's continue okay so let's make a table for this one 2x plus 2x plus 10y is equal to 112 x y when x is 0 y will be 11.2 when y is 0 x it is 56 and let's prepare table for this one x 4x plus 3y 4x plus 3y 
is equal to 54. So here, x, y, for x, 0, and for y, 0. When x is 0, y will be 54 over, over 3, it is 18. Okay, when y is 0, this will be, z it is 54 over 4, 13.5. 54 over 4, this is 13.5. We have this. Now, let's draw the graph for this. Okay. Uh, so, simply, you can take the first quadrant region only because x and y gets down or equal to zero means it is only first quadrant region. So let's draw this graph on first quadrant. So when x is zero, when x is zero, y is almost 11.2, let's assume 11.2 be here. So we have this point, when x is zero, y is 11.2, and when x is 56, they assume 56 to be here, y will be 0, we have that point. And when x is 0, for, so for this line, this line pass through these two points, you will have this. And this line is it is 2x, 2x plus 10y, 2x plus 10y is equal to 112. Okay. Now again, let's draw boundary line for 4x plus 3y is only called 54. We have this table for x0, y is this? 18. Assume 18 here. And when x is 13.5, assume 13.5 to be here. When x is 13.5, the value of y is 0, so it's a point is there. Therefore, connect this to we have this. So this line is it is for x for x plus three y. For x plus three y is equal to fifty-four. Now let's find the region. Two x plus ten y is it is 2x plus 10y is less than or equal to 112. So I need to find its region in which direction it, it is shaded. Uh, so to check that, take this origin, put the origin here 0, 0, so 0 less than 112, it is true. So the region will be it's down. And for this line, 4x plus 3y is equal to 54, take the same origin. If you take the origin, if you put it here, you get zero less than 54, it makes, you, it, makes it true. So uh, the region will be to this direction. Therefore, the, the intersection of the regions will be this part. You will have this part. This one is this, 11.2. Let's find this corner point, the intersection, corner point. This intersection corner point uh, is obtained adding simultaneously the two lines. 2x plus 10y is equal to 112 and 4x plus 3y is equal to 54. So adding this simultaneously, you will have this one. 2x plus 10y is equal to 112. We have this. and uh, 4x, 4x plus 3y is equal to 54. Adding simultaneously is multiplied by 2 and solve this, uh, you get x to be 6 and y to be 10. You'll find this. So the corner points are 6, 10. The other corner point here it is, this corner point is this. The value of x is 0, the value of y is this 11.2. And the other corner point here is this.
13.5 comma 0. Okay, so now next to this, uh, we have these corner pointers. So we check these pointers on our objective function. So here, for corner point 0, 11.2 for this point, our profit will be this. It is 16x plus 170y. So x is 0, 170 times 11.2, you will have 1904 for this corner point. And for corner point 2, for corner point 6, 10, putting 6 on x and y on 10 and calculating the profit, you will have this one. Profit, this equal to, for 6, 10, the profit is this, 20, 16. And for the other corner point, for this one, for 13.5 comma 0 when you put 13.5 on x and 0 on y 16 60 times 13.5 will be equal to 810 so from this the maximum value gives you at the row at this corner it is 0 therefore uh, comparing this result the maximum value is this one. So the maximum profit will be 2060, and it occurs when x is 6 and y is 10. This means that table A, the number of table A produced must be 6, and the number of table Y must be 10 in order to get a maximum profit of 2000. 60. So this is the answer. Now let's continue. Okay, to summarize what we have seen today, if the feasible region of a linear programming problem is non empty and bounded, then the objective function attains both maximum and minimum values at the corner points of the feasible region. This is it. So for you, I'll give you exercise. Please read examples on page 405 to 407 and do exercise 10.2, which is found on page 407. In addition to that, please read examples on page 408 to 416 and do exercise 10.3 and 10.4, which are found on page 416 and 413 respectively. This is all about today's lesson. Until next lecture class, goodbye.